The national parks are our nation's crown jewels. They are the finest, most spectacular, most precious things that our nation has. They represent refuges of natural and cultural systems. People can come and see nature as it used to exist. National parks uh, are great places for science and research because they have intact ecosystems, because they have the uh, real cultural fabric of our culture, of our history, of uh, who we are as a people. I'm Jerry Freilich. I'm the director of the North Coast and Cascades Science Learning Network. That's an organization within the National Park Service that's intended to encourage research in national parks and to spread the results of that research to the public. Science uh, and research has ebbed and flowed through the history of the Park Service. Uh, thanks to specific legislation that was passed by Congress, the Natural Resource Challenge was created, which funded a series of inventory and monitoring networks across the country for uh, parks working together to pool resources, uh, pool people, pool uh, uh, expertise, and work with partners like the U.S. Geological Survey and universities to uh, do comprehensive inventories and then long-term monitoring so that we can understand the current health and the long-term trends of the ecosystems in our national parks. The research that we do and the research that we're telling you about here is our effort to preserve and protect it for the enjoyment of future generations as we are instructed to do by the organic act that created the National Park Service. When I come out here, I just feel this is the real world. It's the finest experience I'm capable of having. And I wish that my kids and their kids and your kids will forever be able to come to these national parks and experience these tremendously rich feelings. It's just not only breathing the clean air and seeing the beautiful mountains, but just realizing that this thick web of life, this ecosystem that makes up the national parks is a living and breathing thing. It's a fabric of life. And it's just so wonderful here in the national parks. And I hope we'll be able to enjoy it for all time.